Okay, I think that's better. Sorry about that, guys. So, happy Friday. It is a little bit earlier than I do my mo than I do most of the time with my lives, but I thought I would come on here and share with you guys a few things. If you get here and you want to say hello and let me know you can hear me and you can see everything, that would be appreciated because I never know. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a good Friday. I wanted to just share with you guys a bunch of stuff that's on my desk because my office is crazy and okay. You might have been paused for a minute. Um, I just wanted to share a bunch of stuff that is on my desk because I need to clean everything up. So I just got done sharing my Week in the Life album with my membership group. It's just something that we worked on. Um, I have my Simply Documented membership group and we do a lot of these memory keeping uh, projects. Hey Tammy. Oh good. I see people popping in now. Hey Joanne. Um, so I just, I shared with them kind of, I've been working on it. It's getting a little bit thick. I'm trying to finish it up. It's one of those projects that are sitting around my office. Hey, Christine. Um, and I am trying to get everything put away, right? Like I really want to create this weekend. I have some stuff I'm designing and I want everything put away. So I just shared that. And then I have a whole bunch of stuff here that I want to share with you guys. And then we're going to open Paper Pumpkin. So I have my Paper Pumpkins right here. We're gonna open those at the end and maybe I'll do some crafting. But let me show you guys some stuff that came in the mail. So this came in the mail from Patty Bennett. It's a 31 bag. It's like a tote. Um, Patty Bennett is in my upline uh, uh, secession. Is that what that's called? It's like she is my, my I'm in her third level. So, um, some of you may know Patty Bennett. She's awesome. And she sent me this bag as a congratulations for going to Alaska. I'm supposed to be headed to Alaska right now, but at the last minute we had to change plans and um, not go, which is okay. I'm, I'm fine with it. It just happened. But she sent me this bag and there was kind of a fiasco. The first bag she sent me got lost. I didn't get it. It was this weird thing and then I was like please don't send me the bag now I'm not going to Alaska I feel bad and she's like no I'll send you mine so she ended up sending me I think this is hers so thank you Patty for thinking of me she's always so kind to think of me and um, it's a nice bag it's from 31 and I like the black and white stripes and so um, I'll use it it's an over like a shoulder um, like messengers bag I love those so that was nice. I got that in the mail today, or not today, but this week. So then I'm going to share some cards that I got and some different things that um, I have here. But this right here is what we made for our creative rally on our team. We did that on Tuesday. So this is one of the projects that we made. Um, it's this little holder, and it holds these um, Hershey Nuggets, which mine are really in here. I don't know if my are going to come out. Oh my gosh, how funny. So they hold these little Hershey Nuggets. Oh no. Oh, there it goes. Okay. It's because the paper is popping off on the back. But they hold these little nuggets and then it says hooray. And we made this on Tuesday. So when you join Stampin' Up! and you're a part of my team, you get to do things like this. We have lots of like creative little things that we do and hangouts that we do. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Just it came out so cute. Chris, that you guys see pop on here from time to time, she designed this and shared it with us, which I just love. This is a card that I got from a customer. Um, she was paying for class, for my local class. She had to send me um, her payment, and so she sent it in this card. And it was really nice. Um, she just said, thanks for all that you do, and then it was her payment, and I loved the card. Um, I loved the twine on the bottom. It turned out nice. Um, this was from Patty, and it went with the purse. Says congratulations. This is that background stamp. I don't know if you can see that, which it's made me want that background stamp now. So she just said congratulations on earning Alaska and Greece, and um, hope you enjoy the bag. And she said I wish you were coming with us, which was nice. She knew that I wasn't going to be able to come, um, and so that was created by Patty. 
And then this is a really um, pretty card. This was given to me by Wendy. Um, she gave me a card. It said, thanks for going the extra mile on the PDFs for our card class. She super appreciated that. And then this was a funny thing that happened. Um, so I just recently started doing the PDFs for our um, card class. And um, it was funny because I was like... I just did them and then the funny thing is is that I was with her when she bought a pack of four Starbucks gift cards she needed three and um, we had walked into the store and she was looking and I, I was like well here's four you know you could always use an extra gift card um, for you know somebody so it was funny she said PS you get the fourth card so I was with her when she bought that but the card is really pretty this card is really pretty kindness changes everything I love that. So, um, I got this in the mail this week. This is on stage for November. It is the 30 year anniversary with Stampin' Up. And um, so I got this postcard. I actually got two of them. It says mark your calendar. And then it is, um, I wonder why it says August 4, oh, registration begins August 14th. I was like, on stage is it in August? <laughs> it's in November. But if you become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can go to on stage. It's going to be in Florida. It's the 30-year anniversary, so I know it's going to be amazing. They're going to have so much fun. Um, so then I got this card in the mail. This was from Kathy. Um, and she just said she appreciated everything I did. And it was this beautiful card. I wasn't expecting it. And I loved it. So it has this hello and there's some coloring. And it's in Bermuda Bay, which is my favorite. Um, I'm not positive if I'm going to on stage or not. Um, I was not planning on it um, because, uh, well, so like here's the deal. It, for to go For me to go to Alaska and be gone for nine days and then to turn around and like just a few months later go to on stage in November and be gone for five days. It just was a little much for me. But now that we weren't able to go to Alaska, Stampin' Up! was really amazing. And um, what has happened is when you earn an incentive trip, it's paid for. So you get your flight, you get the trip. So like the cruise, everything is paid for. So when I canceled with Stampin' Up, when I had to call them and tell them I couldn't go, what they did was so amazing. They gave me my flight. They gave me my flight like tickets, uh, a credit for a flight, a round trip flight to anywhere. And um, so I might, I have that so I could use that for going to on stage in November. I'm currently, I'm hoping that I have some of my team members, um, uh, promote this month, which will give me flex points. And when I earn flex points, then I can get the registration for on stage for, for free. Like you can register, you can use your flex points to do that. So if I can manage to do all of that, then I'm thinking that I might go to on stage. I would really like to, it's the 30 year anniversary. My very first convention was the 25th year anniversary five years ago. Um, and it was phenomenal. It was so fun. Um, they always do really big things on the anniversary dates. Um, they announce big things. They um, do a lot of, not merchandise, but like um, like logo merchandise, which I really love. Um, yeah, I the thing with going to on stage is it's not in my budget either unless I can use flex points. So that's the really amazing thing. When you're a demonstrator, you get to earn flex points. And if I can earn those flex points and use it for registration, then I will totally try to go because basically I have a plane ticket and I have my registration. <laughs> and, um, oh good. I'm so glad you received your paper share. Oh, you're so welcome. I know that <laughs> this paper share was like, <laughs> was a little crazy, you guys. Uh, I had to have help packaging it and just, uh, I love doing paper shares. This one, this last one was a little crazy. So I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it. I always love providing them. The holiday paper, catalog paper share will come out next month. So that will be fun. So that's the scoop about on stage. Um, I may be able to go. Uh, then I'm missing a card. I had one from Sandra that I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so this one, I don't want to write, I don't want to show the, um, 
let me see who this is from. This was from Jerry. So I don't want to show her return address, but I saved the envelope. So I, hold on guys. I want to make sure I can see comments. I'm tapping my phone here. Okay. So I saved the envelope because look on the back what it says. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Opening this card will re result in extreme joy. <laughs> I loved that. So then here was the card. I loved this card. It was a fun, um, and I don't know if she wrote. It's like it's glittery. So I don't know if she wrote in glitter or if she just like, um, if she just like did Wink Estella or something over it, I'm not sure. Um, but it just said that she was thinking of me and she she is a part of our team. So um, she had said that she wanted to do a um, collaboration and it was just a nice note. So let's open Paper Pumpkin. I am really bummed that I'm missing the card from Sandra. If I can, if I find it, I know it's on my desk somewhere. When I find it, I should say, I will put a, um, a photo up. So we're going to open up Paper Pumpkin, and I have another giveaway of a Paper Pumpkin kit. So I have two here, and if you'll leave your name and you will comment, this is going to be open for my YouTube uh, people. I'm going to upload this to YouTube right after this. So uh, it's open for YouTube and then it's open for Facebook. If you leave a comment here on Facebook and you share this, you'll be entered into a chance to win. I'm going to wait until Sunday to pick somebody to win a paper pumpkin kit. Um, so you have all the way until Sunday. So even if you're catching the replay, you can still share the video, you can still comment, and you'll still be entered to win. And then if you're on YouTube uh, on Friday and Saturday, leave me a comment and just let me know, you know, just say hi, just so I know that you've watched it. And then I'm going to give away a brand new paper pumpkin kit. I will take it out of the box and I will just ship it in an envelope because it's too expensive to ship in the actual box, but you'll get everything in it. So right now, if you have not ever signed up for paper pumpkin and you're not getting it, your first box you can get for 50% off when you use this promo code. And this promo code is good until August 10th. So you sign up, you use the promo code, and you get your first box for 50% off. So what's really amazing is when you do Paper Pumpkin, you get a clear block your first time. And then you always get a stamp set and an ink spot. So even if you signed up and you didn't want to keep doing it, you could totally cancel and basically get the first box for 50% off and it would be great. So what I'm going to do is after I'm done with this video, I will link how to sign up with me for Paper Pumpkin, okay? So when you sign up with me, you're going to get a card for me every month that says thank you so much for getting Paper Pumpkin. Um, and I will sometimes send out goodies. Every couple months I send out little goodies to my Paper Pumpkin people. And then you get to be a part of my VIP group where you will see alternative projects, um, which is really fun to be able to do. So there, this is a great value and especially signing up 50% off. So I will put in um, when I'm done with this video, I'll put in a link to sign up um, so you can do that. So let's open this up. I've not really seen this. Um, I, I have an idea of what it is, but I haven't uh, seen all of the stuff. So Paper Pumpkin comes to you in a little box like this every month. Um, you get a Stampin' Spot, so I like that I have a variety of these Stampin' Spots now in all different colors. These are a great way to have our ink collection, but maybe not um, invest in the big ink pads. So this is Soft Suede this month, and then you always get a stamp set. So here's the stamp set for this month. Oh, I'm in love already because it has the stitching, and you guys know that I'm a huge fan of stitching. So it says to and from, enjoy, for you, thank you. It has a couple of these image um, pieces here, thinking of you, and then the stitched piece here. So you open it up and your project comes like this. And you get everything you need 
to make whatever this is. So sometimes it's cards. There was one time a mini album that was my favorite. Um, there are um, all kinds, like birthday cards, birthday, last, last month was a birthday theme. Um, you get all the pieces, so like here's twine and brads, and then you get instructions. So let's turn this over and see what we're making. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Is this tissue paper? Oh my gosh, how cute is this, you guys? Okay, so let's figure out what this is. Okay, so you have your dimensionals. You have these envelopes. Some of them have blueberries. So then these are the card bases. And then these are, so this says short brim stickers. Okay, then these look like these are the baskets. And then tags. You always end up with way more um, than you need to. But then here's some pieces. Here's the blueberries. And this is tissue paper. Look at this. It's like a little bit thicker than like, it feels like thicker than tissue paper. But like tissue paper. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so we have that. Here's the strawberries and then the apples. And then we have, these are probably like the handles. Okay. So let's, I like to just sort everything. Hey, Christy. Are you loving this? Okay, then these are like vellum and they pop out. So what I tend to do is just sort everything. Usually I don't do this on camera because it's kind of tedious, but I'll just show you guys. Like I just pull this out just so I know what all my pieces are. And then you can just follow the instructions. Exactly. I want to make one of these baskets. Okay. So we have this. Look, I just want to get this out of here. Just pull all of it out. And then you have some more adhesive. I tend to just use my regular adhesive, but that's the great thing about Paper Pumpkin is if you don't have adhesive, then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so here's the, I gotta make one of these little, these little things. I have to do it. So let's look at what you're supposed to do. Oh gosh, see, I'm starting to get, get scared. Line up the long brim. So it tells you basket. See, this tells you basket handles. So we'll need one of those. Step one, line up long brimmed stick and basket handle holes. Okay, so then here's the long. Oh, oh, these are stickers, you guys. These are stickers. Okay. I don't get this. Okay, and then there's, these are score. Do you score them? Oh, I see. Okay. So there's a little hole there, and then there's a little hole here. And what you do is you grab these brads. This is cute, right? Sorry, I got to read instructions. And because I just, this, I wanted to open it on camera. So you just take this, and you take this. Okay, so like this, but this part's sticky, okay? So I think you do that with two of them. This is going to be my guess. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's hope I'm doing this right. Okay, so then we have another. It's just paper. If we mess up, it's fine. It's totally fine. I'm probably not following the instructions great because I'm nervous because I'm on camera. Okay, so we have this. Okay, so now we have our basket. We're just going to pop that up. 
And then... Line up brim on score. Oh gosh, guys. Okay, so. So there's little score lines right here on these sticky ones. So just fold those. Okay. Then you're going to line up these score lines. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Just don't press anything really hard yet. Just set it on there. Okay, then flip this over. And then again, line these score lines up. Hopefully I'm in frame. I need about five more eyeballs. Okay, so see how that goes? So now, then press this here, like this. So just, these will line right up. And then, Now press. Oh yeah, this is perfect. And these, there's, they're actually really forgiving. So even if you mess up a tiny bit, now I'm gonna go back through and like press all of these together. Okay, so then Just like that. How cute is that? That's actually really easy. It almost feels a little intimidating, but it's really not. Okay, so but then I'm not positive what these are for. Short brick. Like, I don't know if these go on here. Okay, but we got to put the, now we got to put this in here. I just have to. So let's do the red because that just screams. So then. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Okay, you guys. Okay, look how cute. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I think what I'm going to do with these is give them to um, people around town. I'll fill them with something and give them to people around town. So there's the basket. And then what I think would be super cute. So these are for the cards. So you can see like there's a card. So what you're supposed to do is take this the vellum attaches okay so then you take the stamp set where'd my little stamping spot go oh right here so what I like to do, I am like totally missing my snips from in here, is I just like to cut one edge of the sticker and then my lid will stay on. And then we're gonna take this stitched piece because I just have to use it. It's my favorite.
Okay, so then... I don't know how straight this is going to be because I'm not directly over my project. I'm trying not to... You could do this much straighter if you can stamp right over it. And I have no idea if I'm still in frame. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, you guys. Okay, so we have that. And then we put this on here. Which, see, I didn't do a great job because I wasn't directly over it. You gotta get a little closer to the edge. And then here's a strawberry. Let's do an apple. And then you have Oh, I see. So we'll need one of these. We'll do it in green. And then we need one of these. And then... Oh, you stamp it. I see. Okay, so then we'll take that. We will use... Um, I think like Granny Apple Green... I'm pretty sure this is what they want you to do. Unless I'm missing. I don't think I am. Okay. That fits perfectly on there. And then we'll use soft suede again. And I think I'm gonna do for you because I think I will, if I'm gonna give it to people like the post office people or the bank people, I think for you is what will work best. Are you guys still with me? I'm having a hard time creating and looking at comments. Okay, so then what we'll do is add a little bit of adhesive. To all of these pieces. I'm going to add the adhesive to the vellum right in the middle. Because you can kind of see it a little bit. And then let's add dimensionals to the apple. Oh no, this got stuck to my desk. Mm, I'm not sure that's what they really mean. Maybe you're supposed to cut it. Well, I'm not sure how you get this piece, but I'm just going to do it how the photo kind of looks here. Trim that piece off. Add it here. There are these sticker leaf things, which... I think they're for like the other fruits, but that's cute, right? And then this is a tag. So you take this, you punch this out. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys are just hanging out watching me create. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not. It's like when I'm trying to figure something out, I can't chat and figure it out. Can't walk and chew gum at the same time. I just got a call. Okay, so then we take 
just some twine. I really need to find my snips. So then let's look at the other sentiments in here. Where's my stamp set? Oh, this to and from. Let's do that. To and from. And let's do that in Granny Apple Green. You could do this for teachers too. I sort of already have all my teacher stuff planned out, so I don't need stuff for teachers yet, but. Okay, so then. I probably cut off too much twine. Yeah, probably. That was probably a lot. Okay, so then we'll put this here. Probably write the name of who it's to and from before you tie it on here. Okay, to and from, and then let me cut all this extra. I really wasted some twine here. That's okay. And then that is the basket. <laughs> uh, she's, uh, let's see, I'm missing a comment here. Oh, I gotta. She said, I'm the same way my family talks while I'm creating and they get upset because I don't answer them. But literally, I cannot concentrate on what I'm doing if I'm chatting. <laughs> and I love these tags because they have some of this like stitching on them. So these turned out cute. And then you would just be able to put these right in your envelope. So there's apples, strawberries, and blueberries. And these would just go right in your envelope. And then they coordinate. They have the plaid. And then whatever you've got in there. So cute, right? I love it. So that is the paper pumpkin for this month. And this is what you get to make. I will definitely do these. Um, when, oh yeah, oh, they have, yeah, that's, that's kind of hangs like that. Yeah, I did that right. I guess they stamped to and from this way instead of this way, but it's okay. So that is paper pumpkin. So remember if you want to join and you've never joined, um, now is a great time to do that because you can get 50% off your first kit. And if you've signed up before and you want to get 50% off, um, of your first kit, just go get a new email address or use your husband's email address or use somebody else's email address that you haven't used and get the 50% off. And um, I will put a link in here so that if you want to join, you can. I love getting Paper Pumpkin. Um, they're fun kits. I always use them. And then I'll give another one away. So leave a comment. If you're on YouTube, leave a comment. And then I'll pick somebody on Sunday and um, send it out to you so you can use these. So super cute, right? So I hope you guys are having a great day. That's I just wanted to share those few things with you. Share with you some mail that I received. And now I am going to go and get all of my um, <laughs> office cleaned up. My whole desk is a disaster. I'm going to get all my stuff put away so I can create this weekend. I am going to be using the brand new set um, that will be out for customers next month. I'm going to be using the blended season stamp set and the dies. I'm going to be creating an exclusive class using that. And then I'm going to also be creating some Christmas cards to do a Christmas 
um, kit for next month so we can get started on our Christmas cards. So we get to see the holiday catalog next week as demonstrators. So I'm really excited about that. And then as demonstrators, we get to pre-order from the catalog next month. So the holiday catalog, which is exciting. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks, Nicole. Make sure you leave a comment, share the video, and I will pick a winner for the Paper Pumpkin kit on Sunday. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll chat with you later.